When people think of the 1950s, they often think about the American dream, but life back then was far from a dream. As the intensity of the Cold War between the United States grew, there was perceived to be a threat to the U.S. by the Communist Party. Because of this, the Americans were trying to protect themselves. Some of the safety procedures for an attack on the U.S. would not have worked, but the government wanted everyone to remain calm. People were even blaming their family and friends for being communists. People were spying on other people just because they didn't feel safe. It all started because of the war between the United States and the Soviets, the Cold War. The Cold War era was when the Soviets and the United States fought. It made the U.S. children scared of the Soviets and the nuclear attacks they threatened us with. The government made everyone believe they were safe at the time, but in reality, they weren't. They made children do drills to hide in their chairs. The drills were useless. They just added it because the government wanted the students to stay calm. West boycott was a 13-month mass protest that ended with the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that segregation on public buses is unconstitutional. There was a man named Bayard Rustin who was a communist who wanted to help with the Montgomery bus boycott, but was kicked out because they feared it would stop the movement. The Montgomery bus boycott was successful because black people stopped riding the bus, which caused the company to lose money. The blacks were determined to not use violence no matter how bad it was.